Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you so much for joining me. Welcome, welcome to Red Wine Talking. <laughs> My phone is making noises. Let me take it off. Um, I'm very happy that you can join me. I, I, I basically promoted by saying that I'm the opening act to the presidential debate <laughs> because I know everybody's waiting to see it at nine o'clock. I promise I'll be quick. I'll try to cut off by nine o'clock so we can all join into that um, comedy of errors for lack of a better statement. I hope everyone is having a good week so far. Happy pre-Friday, happy Thursday. Thank you so much for joining all of you. Alicia Imandi, welcome, welcome. Let me see who else I can see here so I can say hello. <laughs> Let me see, hi. Hi, Cindy. <laughs> Let's see who else is here. Okay, so we should just jump right in <laughs> so we don't lose track of time. I don't see it here. So our topic of conversation is something that I posted a year ago and I feel like if I'm having a lot of feedback about it. <laughs> and it's... um. It, it basically went like this. Sometimes she likes gentle and intimate. Other times she needs rough and animalistic. And being able to decipher which she needs and when is part of the art of being a man. And um, I liked it a lot and a lot of people tend to like it because we all have our different views on this topic because some of us like it rough and animalistic and some of us like it gentle and intimate. But I want to start by saying that even though some of us might like one or the other, I think it kind of depends on our mood. I think for the most of us it depends, it depends on our mood. Sometimes I would like it gentle and intimate and soft and more like you're making love slowly to my body from head to toe. And sometimes I want you to grab this mane of mine and pull it or, or maybe like jam me up against the wall and, and kiss me and, and kiss me forcefully um, so I think it just depends sometimes I want you to throw me into the bed throw me there and then start ravishing my body from head to toe like kissing me with a desire like like if you really can't wait to have me to have pieces of me and and it really just depends on my mood I think so one of my um, one of my girlfriends that I worked with, she happened to ask me about this on my Instagram post that I posted this week, and she said to me, "What if your partner likes that objective sex and you prefer it gentle and intimate?" And my response to her was. You know, I have no problem discussing this, but I don't suggest because I don't want to be held responsible <laughs> because I know it would work for me and I know it would work for others, but it might not necessarily work for you. So I can, I can share what works for me and I can share what I know works for others, but it might not necessarily work for you. So what I think in that case is, is you, you talk to your partner, you tell your partner what you want and you need. And if your partner has different needs and wants, then like in any other relationship, you decide what you're gonna compromise. You decide if one night we're gonna go rough and animalistic, and the other night we're gonna go gentle and intimate. And each night you basically learn 
from of course sex can happen during the day as well let's not forget <laughs> each day or night you decide what you're gonna learn from each other certain parts of the rough and animalistic you might very much enjoy and certain parts of the gentle and intimate you might very well want to savor for the next time so I think it depends I really think it depends um, I want to see what, what a lot of you guys are saying because I like to interact with you all instead of my talking about my own experiences and I can't seem to see that on this device. So let me see what I can see here from these comments on here. Hi guys, look at all of you. Hello to each and every one of you. Welcome welcome yes my brother my little brother says depends on the person you're with sometimes the timing well said sort of both it all depends and i agree 100 percent sometimes the timing you nailed it sherlon barboza because sometimes you had a rough day sometimes you had a really hard day and you want to come home and you want to be attacked to a certain degree attack is a very strong word but you want to be like you want to be desired you want to be devoured you want you want to feel like if this person is dying to have you so i think that's a very good point Sherlyn. thanks for bringing that up let's see who else is here hi sandy johnston yes communication is key you have to tell your partner what you want David Craig, thank you for joining. Very much on point. It depends on the mood, the weather, how long it was since. Very good point. How long ago did you have sex? I agree. And I tend to think that for me, if you haven't had sex in a long time, you do want to basically be able to say to your partner, um, well, it's been a while so yeah i want some rough and animalistic sex or for some people if it's been a while you do you might just want to be made love to in that gentle and intimate manner so true dj joby there is a there is such a thing as gentle rough and rough gentle trust me i know yes very good point it doesn't have to be gentle all one day or night or rough all one day or night you can go through the same period of love making of having sex and have a period of gentle and a period of rough where you start off gentle and then you go a little bit rough or you go rough or you go a little bit gentle i could see that without a doubt i can see that hi marco thank you for joining mr marco brown yeah, Shauna, a combo. Why can't you have a combo? It doesn't have to be either or at all, at all. Hi, Marlon. Thanks for joining. Depends on the mood and your partner. Yes, maybe a combination of the two. Agree. The mood is very important. Good evening, Adila. Thank you so much for joining. Let's see. Natalie Bullock. Thank you for joining. Hi. Mark Dobson, absolutely. I'm pretty sure you are agreeing with me in regards to mood, I think, because a lot of people tend to think so. Yes, Alicia Imamdi, I know you've always said gentle. I know you've always said gentle. Mark Dobson, a little bit of both. I agree. Why not? Why can't you have a little bit of both? Why can't you? Surf and turf, Shauna, for sure. Surf and turf. So I wanted to read something that I found online because I'd like to give you... Actually, my hobby said to me that I should be giving some type of facts when I'm talking sex instead of just talking sex, and I agree with him. So I wanted to I wanted to read for you what I found online, which I thought was very interesting. 62% of women like rough sex, and these are their favorite kinks. And it showed a picture of tied behind, tied up, in the wrist behind the bottom and i like that a lot i like that a lot a lot a lot let's see here's your excuse to try something kinky i think 
during this COVID-19 time, we want to try things, we want to try new things, we want to get kinky, we want to do something to alleviate the stress that we've been having through all of this. So I think it's understandable why some of us might decide no more gentle and intimate sex. Why don't we try something rough? I also read that, you know what, you don't, you don't just decide that you're going to have rough sex with your partner, especially if your partner is not normally or generally into rough sex. You may want to help, you may want to alarm him. <laughs> I use that word alarm because if he's not normally into it, he will be alarmed, especially if it's your longtime partner. So you want to let him know. Like I always say, communication is the key and the core to everything. You want to let him know, baby, I want to try some rough and kinky sex tonight. So he can be ready that this, this sexual endeavor that we normally have is going to turn into something that's different and he can be prepared and he can totally try to enjoy it knowing in advance that this is what my partner wants this is what my baby wants and he can enjoy it as much as you can as well because remember it's not all about you your partner is also a part of the game let's not forget that Sage, thank you for joining. Josh, thank you for joining. Dalton, thank you for joining. Hi, guys. Thank you so much. Kinky is a show, according to David. Different areas of the house, shower, etc. Yes, we did a show on different areas where we would have our sexual encounters, and that helps to keep that fire burning. So something else that I also read that also... Um, made me a little bit aware of more of what is going on and i had to take a picture of it so i can share it with you guys let me see what it is um let's see let's see let's see it was about having an orgasm and let's not forget that some of us would orgasm more from rough and animalistic sex some of us might have a quicker orgasm or some of us might have a quicker orgasm from intimate and gentle sex. So we're all different, let's not forget. But I thought this interesting, I saw this interesting tidbit on having an orgasm and leaving your socks on. And it said, forget lingerie. If you want to increase your chance of having an orgasm, keep your socks on during sex says research done by the University of Groningen. I've never heard of that. No one is sure exactly why this works, but one theory is that in order to orgasm, you need to be totally relaxed and anxiety free. I've always said that an orgasm is all about up here. You need to be anxiety free. And cold feet can interfere with the ability to really get into sex, especially for women, says Fran Walfish, PhD, psychotherapist and author. And I could see why that would make some sense. I've always said that orgasms, um, they derive from the mental and if you're not mentally into the sex that you're having, you, you probably won't have that orgasm. You probably won't that elusive orgasm. So let me find out from you guys as well. What do you consider rough and animalistic? Because my rough and animalistic might not necessarily be your rough and animalistic. And my gentle and intimate might not necessarily be yours. So my rough and animalistic is not necessarily pounding. I don't want you to pound your Romeo into my Juliet. I don't because as much as my waking up sore the next day reminds me of my mm, exciting encounter the night before, I, I, I don't necessarily have to have that. I think rough and animalistic for me is more of you showing me your your desire, more of you devouring my lips, my breasts, my Juliet. It's more of that as opposed to you pounding your Romeo into my Juliet. 
it's not necessarily that for me i do want you to probably like hold on my arms hold on my arms on the bed and look me in my eyes and you know probably do like a nice little gyrate while you're inside of me like a deep gyrate and then that would that would get me going big time as opposed to the gentle and intimate and again i do like both it just depends on the timing it depends on my mood it depends on what type of day i had and I think that's what it would be for most of us, according to your comments. Hi, Jerry Holland. Thank you for joining. Hi, Alicia. Thank you for joining, Alicia Brown. Josh Lawson. Yeah, if you're in Canada, for sure, keep your boots on. <laughs> Talking about boots on, my hubby has definitely expressed his desire about having sex with me with my boots on and my feet up in the air. And I think that is a huge turn on i do like that a lot miranda pounding me baby because i need to feel that pain for the next damn week miranda of course you would say that so you want to be walking around like if you can't really walk <laughs> and people wondering or saying mm, miranda must have had some really rough sex last night right why not why not yes sandy you love being in control and you know what i love being in control as well talking about rough animalistic i do like being on top i want to think that that might be one of my favorite positions i like being on top and i like you know i like being able to control the movement while i'm on top i do like that a lot and i find that my orgasms come a lot quicker when i'm there i love that i love that mm. yes we can get a happy medium alex delgado why not why can't we get a happy medium why can't we not everybody can and that is why we're having this discussion because not everybody can a happy medium i guess would be but basically depend on your partner your partner has to be in the same mood that you are in as well let's not forget it's not about you it's about your partner as well but a happy medium would be the best bet <laughs> so that being said I again have to jump off because of course we're waiting for the president we're waiting for Joe Biden we're waiting for the debate with the mics muted this is gonna be hilarious honestly I hate to talk politics but I do agree with everyone out there we have to go out and exercise our right we have to have our voices heard we have to vote we have to vote it is very important because the way the world is going right now the way the united states of america is right now i feel like if we need some type of change we need change and the only way we can get that going is if we vote <laughs> so thank you for joining my name is cheryl ann otherwise known as red wine red for my complexion wine because i love to wine to soca music let's not forget that's where it is this is all about trinidad and tobago nothing else that's where my home country is my sugar island and i want to thank all of you for joining me until when next i decide to pop into your lives thank you very much for vibing with me thank you very much for conducting these sexy conversations because we all know that not everybody is okay with talking about these topics but i welcome your feedback and i'm glad that you're able to conduct these conversations with me and i'm thankful so ciao for now i love you all mwah to everybody mwah, mwah, mwah. and i hope you guys have a wonderful weekend in the meantime, take good care, wear your mask, and be vigilant in your sense of taking care of you and everyone around you. I love you. Mwah. Take care.